The Su-47, developed by the Russian aerospace company Suhoi, was a revolutionary aircraft that made its debut in 1997. Unfortunately, it never got to show what it was really capable of, partly because of the impatient manufacturer. Its forward-swept wings and flat exhaust nozzle helped it stand out from other aircraft of its time. The Suhoi S-37 Burkitt's forward-swept wing design makes the aircraft look as if its wings are on backwards, but it does not fly in reverse. It was developed as part of a top-secret program for the Soviet Navy, originally referred to as the S-22, but later renamed the Su-27KM. The development of the Suhoi S-37 Burkitt was part of a broader effort in the 1990s to explore new technologies and aerodynamic concepts for advanced fighter aircraft. At the time, the Russian aerospace industry was looking for ways to improve the performance of its fighter aircraft and to keep pace with the latest developments in the field, as they were facing serious competition from the West. One of the main factors that prompted the development of the S-37 was a desire to increase the maneuverability of fighter aircraft. Traditional wing designs have a tendency to stall at high angles of attack, which can make it difficult for the aircraft to maintain control in tight turns. Forward swept wings were seen as a way to overcome this limitation and to create an aircraft that could outmaneuver its opponents. The Su-47's history may be traced back to the Third Reich in 1944, like the majority of other aeronautical programs. The forward swept wing concept was originally introduced here. The design of the Suhoi Su-47 was inspired by various factors, including the desire to test and validate new technologies and design concepts. One of the main inspirations for the Su-47 was the Nazi Junkers Ju-287, which was a German prototype forward-swept wing bomber developed during World War II. It was designed by the Junkers company as an experimental aircraft to test the benefits and disadvantages of a forward-swept wing in flight, similar to the Grumman X-29 and the Su-47. However, unlike the Su-47 and X-29, the Ju-287 didn't fly until very late in the war. The first flight was in 1944, and only a handful of prototypes were built before the war ended. The Ju-287 and the Su-47 both had forward-swept wings, but it's crucial to remember that their designs were very different from one another. The Su-47 was a fighter jet, whereas the Junkers Ju-287 was a heavy bomber, which means that the Su-47 was made for air-to-air -air combat, while Junkers Ju-287 was made for long-distance bomb transport. One of the key elements that drove the development of the Su-47 was the need to boost the maneuverability of fighter aircraft. It can be challenging for the aircraft to maintain control in tight turns when using traditional wing designs, which tend to stall at high angles of attack. It was thought that forward-swept wings could be used to get around this restriction and build a more maneuverable aircraft. Other variables, like the need for better avionics and radar systems, superior armaments, and stealth capabilities are also seen as triggers. Due to competition from the West, the Russian aircraft sector sought new approaches and technology to enhance its offerings. The Su-47 was primarily meant for air-to-air -air warfare, and its improved mobility made it well-suited for dogfight circumstances. High maneuverability, a high top speed, and a high angle of attack are some of its capabilities. Another factor that contributed to the development of the Su-47 was a desire to improve the performance of fighter aircraft at subsonic speeds. Forward swept wings can provide a higher lift to drag ratio that can affect the efficiency of the aircraft at subsonic speeds, which can result in better performance and maneuverability. Additionally, the forward-swept wings can also help to reduce drag at transonic speeds, which can improve the aircraft's overall speed and range. It's well known that the Suhoi Su-47's developments encountered a variety of financial obstacles and budget constraints. The lack of finance and support from the Russian government was one of the biggest problems the Su-47 development had to deal with. The business that built the aircraft, Suhoi, provided the majority of the money for the program, which did not receive the same degree of government funding and backing as other aircraft initiatives. Due to a shortage of funds, the program's scope and the number of aircraft that could be built and tested were constrained. As a result, fewer data could be acquired during the test flights. The Su-47 program also had to contend with potential clients' lack of interest. Because the Su-47 was an experimental prototype, 
it did not have the same level of proven capabilities and technologies as other aircraft in its class, which made it less desirable to potential customers. On top of that, the aircraft was developed for different engines than were available at the time. They did not wait until these stronger engines were available, so the aircraft never lived up to the full potential of the design. Furthermore, the Su-47 program was impacted by economic and political changes in Russia. The collapse of the Soviet Union and the subsequent economic crisis made it difficult for the program to continue with the same level of funding and resources that it had previously. Despite these challenges, the program was able to go forward with fewer aircraft and a more limited test schedule. The business and the program's engineers were able to carry on utilizing their resources, a tiny amount of government financing and support to construct and test a few prototypes. This did restrict the program's scope and the quantity of data that could be acquired from the test flights, which in turn restricted the aircraft's potential for further development and for entering service. Since various politicians and government officials probably had different interests and agendas, it's unclear exactly what the Russian government's main priority was during the Su-47's development. On top of that, it's possible that after the fall of the Soviet Union, the government's focus moved to more urgent matters, including economic recovery and political stability. Additionally, it's possible that when the nation adopted a more pacifist position in the years following the Cold War, the government cut back on funding for military initiatives. A sequence of test flights over some years made up the Su-47's flight test history. The prototype aircraft flew for the first time in 1997, and the aircraft was put through a variety of tests the following years, including ones that examined its aerodynamics, avionics, and weapons systems. One of the major developments during the test flight program was the ability of the Su-47 to demonstrate super maneuverability thanks to its forward-swept wing design. This included capabilities such as Cobra maneuvers and high angle of attack AOA flight. However, the program also faced several challenges during the flight test phase. One major issue was the aircraft's instability at high angles of attack, which made it difficult to control certain flight conditions. Engineers also struggled with issues related to the forward swept wing design, such as flutter and aeroelasticity, which can be a dangerous condition as it can lead to structural failure of the wings. So significant modifications are required to be made to the design of the wing to prevent this problem. The Su-47 prototype's outstanding mobility also brought to light some of the problems and constraints with the forward swept wing design that would prevent it from going into production. Despite these problems, the data and knowledge obtained from the program gave vital insights for future aircraft design and development. At the time the Suhoi Su-47 was being built, no other country or aerospace business began their development of similar aircraft. The Soviet Union created the Su-47 as a unique prototype that was unrelated to any other country's efforts to construct aircraft. The forward swept wing design was considered a novel concept, and very few other aircraft with this style of wing design have been produced to date. The Grumman X-29, which the United States developed, was the closest aircraft at the time in terms of its forward swept wing design, but it had a different set of goals and objectives. No other country or aerospace company is known to have started their development of a similar aircraft with a forward swept wing design after the Su-47 program had come to an end. Its technology was not adopted by other nations or businesses, making the Su-47 one of the few remaining instances of this sort of aircraft design. The Suhoi Su-47's design, capabilities, and technologies continue to be relevant today in many ways. At the time, its advanced aerodynamics, including the forward swept wing configuration and canard layout, was regarded as a groundbreaking idea. The stealth features that the Su-47 incorporated reduced radar cross-section can provide insights into designing stealthy aircraft. The advanced avionics and weapons systems used in Su-47 are still important for modern military aircraft, and studying its systems could provide insights into how to improve future aircraft. The Su-47 was an experimental prototype, but the knowledge and data gathered from the test flights and the research and development phase of the project are still valuable today and they can be used to improve and advance aerospace technology.